Your opinions matter to me because I love you. But I don't need your approval. I don't need the approval of anyone except the one. The Father, Holy Spirit, the Son. I'm held accountable to my maker who made me in their image. And I'm concerned about how I conduct myself. So I yield to the spirit of holiness that I may bear his fruit, which will in turn benefit you. The creator is preeminent. None come close. And yet I've been given the desire to serve all who are under him. And we are all under him. Under sin, we are hopeless and carelessly defying our maker. Blind to the most expensive war we have waged with no difference. I'm no mathematician, but the price is right as we are all wrong. The price of Christ made it all right. Yes, I'm more than all right. I'm forgiven. I've been given peace in exchange for my ridiculously outlandish acts of war. The one I hated after my soul's windows were extensively obscured. He restored my sense of vision, revealing truth. I hated him and hated myself. Even though my words spoke the contrary, yeah, my actions were playing through the fullness of an arena while my words were playing through a dollar store portable speaker. And I was dead to this because I neglected the source of nourishment I desperately needed, the living and breathing thing which speaks to my value in him and his constant love and consistent nature, his never changing way. I cringe when I remember the way I was settled into and under darkness with no clue. To me, whatever came out of this liar's mouth were the facts, exactly how the serpent wanted me to think. So I delight in the miracle of the creator, bringing me to turn from my backwards way of thinking, making my path straight down this narrow road of transformation and light. I rejoice with shouts of gratitude and cries of praise because life was given to a dead man. At least someone who is actively in danger may be able to scream for help, but one who is beyond the morgue is solidified more than his headstone. What is a miracle? You're looking at it. The conquering victory in Jesus. Victory over my old ways. Victory over my own thoughts. Victory over my desires, victory over lies, victory over demons, victory over the enemy, victory over death. And every day I choose victory. Created with purpose and created with a choice, you must choose, beloved. As you are chosen, so choose life over death, which is Christ over the rest. Some evade taxes, but none can escape death. We spend a lifetime ignoring life signs. When it's your life's time, Mr. Regis's connection can get you with lifeline. All of life's time and you tell yourself, it doesn't matter what comes next. But yet, we are the epitome of upset with death threats. And in a life worth living, there are death threats at funeral homes and hospital bed sets. You've had a mass multitude of opportunities to repent. Every day is a chance to turn from your sins. How many days have you had up until now? And when you die, you're going to say it wasn't fair. When even more specific than that, every hour was given for you to make peace with God. 24 hours in a day and 168 of them in a week. <laughs> we are all weak, but he is overwhelmingly strong. We are undeniably wrong. That's why we're like this. We think it's just Isis, but none of us righteous without him. This is a call to everyone who has turned from God the Father. We have all turned from God the Father. Don't compare your deeds to the Godfather, because magnitudes are measured in singles. Your single sin is a magnitude before he who knew no sin. We are all a bunch of juggernauts suppressing the truth. But in that day of judgment, you'll be your own attorney. And I guarantee you that you didn't practice law, not his laws. So you're found guilty and sentenced to death without the possibility of parole. However, there's a lawyer who perfectly kept the perfect laws and who paid what you owe. No Christmas wish list, but his gift. Even if Vladimir Putin, Hitler and I were one person, all we would have to do is believe it. And just like any other gift, 
receive it. By Jesus' blood, our sins are washed away and we're made clean, made over, and made new. Who knows if you make it to the end of this? So actively practice what repentance is. Turn from your wrongdoing and put your trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Walk with him, trusting that what he did is enough. It's enough trusting in what he did. And here's the takeaway. Don't take away from what Jesus accomplished in death. And don't add to it either. The Holy Spirit will enter you and testify you're a child of God and a born-again believer. Today is your day of salvation. Beloved, I want to ask you to please like and share this video. Consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so that every time I drop a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you so much and God bless you.